The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Oh, what's up? What's up, Ima? Yeah. Yeah. So, another day, another pot. Yeah, so Ima is here going to make some ground nut soup, right? Fufu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I can do some fufu. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, yes. So, I was just in my little apartment just now editing. And Ima stopped by to say, hey bro, we are going to be doing this ground nut soup today. And honestly, I wanted to finish putting out the video, but I was just like, nah, you know, this is going to be a learning experience for me. And I'll be able to see how this dish is actually made. And I will know what it should taste like whenever I go to try any street food. For me here, guys, it's all a learning experience. There's a lot of method to the madness because when I get back to Jamaica and I try to do any form of outdoor cooking, I'm going to try some of these African dishes and we're going to add some of the Jamaican colorful flavors to it and see just how they come out. But just watching YouTube videos sometimes isn't enough. Sometimes it's good to come to the source of the information and actually try it yourself. So already I feel like a pro because I know he's gonna be making some fufu with the plantains. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank God he said yeah. I was a little bit confused for a second. So yeah, uh, fufu, like you might have seen on other videos, it is made with cassava and plantains but the plantains are rather green so it's not sweet it's not soft because if it's sweet and soft it kind of messes up the the consistency of the fufu right yeah but some people to prefer using the ripe one the ripe one to yeah. make fufu yeah and it comes out the same way yeah ah i thought it would really mess with the consistency no you no know, it doesn't but one thing is the taste the taste is different yeah you know a little when bit sweeter. it's ripe it's sweet yeah i think i would try uh fufu with a little bit more of a white plantain. Okay. Why do you can? Why do you choose the the green one? Is it because traditionally it's done that way, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why you go that way? Okay, cool. You learn something every single day. So you realize how he doesn't fully chop into the plantains to break it off. He just does little not not notches and then crook, crook, drop and yeah, it's done. I actually seen this particular cooking technique when you're cutting the food from a Rasta back home in Jamaica. So that's kind of a vibe. No, I'm not talking about the great legendary Moko. I'm talking about another guy that I saw on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so I've been invited inside to see how this is done here. So, of course, you got a little bit of water there going. Yo, you can smell the ground up. Um, I just boiled it small. Uh, Only the ground nuts. Okay. And ground nut is peanuts, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So. Mm, so you got some yeah. salmon, some yeah, chicken, salmon, some chicken. tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. How do you get it so pasty? Just grinding it and... This one? Yeah. Yeah, I bought a, the granite paste already. Oh, you can so buy the paste? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, makes it easier. Gotcha. Yeah. There's a blended onions. Uh, so we got some blended onions. Yeah. yeah that's going to be full of flavor, bro. So that's the onions you just turn the pot. Yeah, that's the onion. Yeah. Got you. Oh, wow. Guys, you can smell the ground nut paste. That is the smell that's taking over the entirety of the kitchen. If you guys are allergic to 
peanuts definitely do not mess with the groundnut soup so I, I, I have a question I have to ask a lot of Jamaicans we always preach by this do you measure ingredients do you ever say one spoon full of salt no yeah no it's like for here it's like you don't have time to you know take a, a cup or something like to measure yeah but so far as you are uh, you know how to cook that's like, it you know you know the the quantity of you know the salt that you put inside it will, it will be okay for you so in jamaica what we say is you pour until your ancestors say stop stop <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> <laughs> So I have a question. Of course, you have to cook to eat to live. Yeah. Do you enjoy the process of cooking, though? I really enjoy it so. I can much. tell, yeah. bro. I can tell. <laughs> I enjoy it so much. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You know, buying food from outside. You know, sometimes the way the process that they, you know, they used to cook the food. You know, it's not like you doing it yourself. Gotcha. You know, yeah. So. And you get to do it to your own flavors yeah, and stuff. Sure, sure. Cool. This one I'm going to use for rice soup. I'm going to prepare rice soup too. Explain. Oh, your <laughs> boy, this dude. He, he, he's going hard. Yeah. He's going to make a light soup. Explain. Yeah. Why do they call it light soup? Is it because it's not thick? Yes. That's why. You know, it's, yeah, it's not thick. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so, this kind of light soup, I'm going to use small plant eggs. So, eggplants? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll add eggplant. Uh, Is it the white one or purple? Okay. The, 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 it's like the red one. The red one? Yeah. Okay. And then the tomatoes and pepper. Tomatoes yeah. and pepper. Yeah, pepper yeah. That's it. Uh. So as you see. I oh, I see. I see a bit of okra. Is yeah, there okra yeah, in there yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, you see, the eggplants and the pepper boiled. I've boiled it. So I'm going to blend it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I've never. The only eggplant. Well, Jamaica eggplants is not very popular. We have it, but it's not popular there. Are the purple ones? That's the one I'm used to. But oh, here okay. I've seen the white and yeah, I've seen yeah, the red. Sure. Guys, drop it in the comments if you know those other colors as well, wherever you're from. Okay. So right now, I have to steam the chicken. Okay. Uh, and the fish, uh, I'll steam it for you know, some time. What are you trying to do? You're trying to have it cooked all yeah, the way through yeah. or some way through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to, you know, okay. make the, the onions and everything. Steam the chicken okay. and the fish uh, for like uh, seven, ten minutes. Seven to ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, Got you. And I'll add my granite paste. Granite paste. paste yeah. Can I can I can I taste some of this granite paste? Yeah, Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna taste just uh, a little bit. Oh, this is hot. So you kind of um, you heat. You did you heat it up before? Yeah, I boiled it. Yeah. Oh, you boiled it a bit. Okay. okay. So I was interested to try it because, of course, you know we eat the uh, the the other brand peanuts, the Jiffies or whatever, and we're not sure. I've never eaten, you know, peanut paste or you know, yeah, like this before. So. Hmm. It's lighter. The flavor is like. Did you add anything? Now? Did you add water to it? Yeah, yeah. I added the only water. Okay, so you added a bit of water. Okay, that's why it has a lighter taste. Cool. Okay, so I can't help but notice these different uh, cooking apparatuses. What are what exactly are they? Uh, well, I know what this one is, but what is that one? Too is a pot, but it's made with clay. Clay. Yeah. Ah, is it the earthen pots they call them? No, this one we use to use them. We normally use them to cook like medicine, you know, herbal medicine. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. primarily for medicine or yeah. type of stuff. Cool. But you don't cook like soups in there. No. No soups. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna have some pepper blended up now. Is that pepper spicy? Yeah. Is it hot? Yeah, it's, it's hot. hot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's hot pepper. I'm still trying to figure out what the name of these particular peppers are. Yeah. Drop it in the comments so I know. Back home in Jamaica, we use uh, Scotch bonnet pepper. That's our popular pepper. Very flavorful, very hot. Okay, so you're going to let the chicken boil up. Got you. Cool. So, 
Another trick question, or not trick question, just a question. Why is it some stuff you, you grind up and some stuff you pop in the blender? Like what's the difference is really? Yeah, like I think uh, the difference is maybe like depend on the actual thing that you're going to, you know, blend. Mm -hmm. You know, some stuff, you know, it's hard. It's like, it's difficult for the blender to, to do to, yeah, to blend it. So okay. it's easy to grind it in the, the earthware. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, that Asanka. Asanka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I came outside for a little bit because it's quite hot inside, but yo, there is a smell I'm getting. Oh, I just smelled it just now that, yo, it smells incredibly good. I cannot pinpoint what the scents are, but there's in a little bit of pepper. You, you know somebody's cooking, so I'm gonna hop back in there and I'm gonna try to test out some of my twee to see if Ima can understand what I'm about to say. I think this would be a very appropriate time to ask this question, Ima. Enkwainabe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the soup is ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ima is now mixing up the ground nut paste. When I go free time, just read my books and my notes. Yeah. You just read books yeah. and your notes. Yeah. yeah, so I just um, asked Ima just now. Because, you know, of course we're making these YouTube videos. And I wanted to know if, you know, he watched YouTube. So you could probably, you know, check out the content. And he says that, so not really into YouTube like that. Yeah. Books. Sometimes I watch movies. On Sometimes YouTube, so movies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what are you studying at school though? Interior design. And Interior upholstery. design? Yeah, and upholstery technology. Yeah. Uh, and upholstery technology. Yeah, upholstery. Man, dude, you're smart as hell because your brother does the shoes. Yeah. So they're <laughs> they're pretty much intertwined. Yeah, yeah man, that's that's pretty good. So you, is this something that you've always liked to do in terms of um, interior design or are you doing it because it will make you some money? Yeah, actually, um, I love I love the question as you can see my boss the way the place is out and his other stuff. Oh, so you help him with decorating like the B and B and stuff like that? Yeah, not really, but you know sometimes he just come up with this idea and then he does it mm -hmm. in his own way. Okay. Yeah, but I, I learned things from him too. You learned as well yeah, from him yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, I learned from him too. Yeah. Gotcha. So how do you know it's ready when it's just smooth? Yeah, it's it's light, you know. So. Okay. So. And you will pour it inside and then add water. Okay. Yeah. So hold up. You're you're doing two soups today? Yeah, yeah. Man. So you're making one for the next day, probably. Yeah, yeah. And okay, cool. Always thinking ahead, Ima. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I wow. So it's boiling up. It's been about seven minutes you'd say. Yeah, okay. And the next spot here. Bubbling away. For the entire time the pepper was going, I was trying my hardest not to cough so I don't mess up the shot of the video. But for those of you guys who love to eat and you have your grandmoms back in the kitchen or your mom, yo, show them a lot of love and appreciation, especially if they're cooking in a super hot kitchen and especially if their food tastes really good. Yo, it's hot in here. We are sweating bullets. I've worked in fine dine restaurants before and even in there, you are going to be sweating as hell. I remembered having to sometimes change chef jackets because it was soaked. So shout out to all of the chefs that are cooking up a storm, whether you're professionally trained or just a simple mom, dad, uncle, brother, back at home in the kitchen. Blended eggplant, so. Okay, so you blended up the eggplant. Yeah. Cool. So. You know Do you know Yep, to make fufu. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 
And that is your light soup. Yeah. Cool. What is the main ingredient for light soup? Oh, okay. For the vegetables, like you can, you know, it depends on how you want it. You can just use only pepper and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then prepare it. Gotcha. Yeah, but it means like I prefer adding some small uh, eggplant. Yeah. To add more nutrients. Yeah, sure. Gotcha. But you can use any type of meat or fish that, that you want, want. Yeah. okay yeah. so me my own i'm using fresh salmon mm -hmm. and beef fresh yeah. salmon and beef, beef yeah. what if you wanted to add like a bit of dry shrimp is that okay, yeah. okay. nice blend it Oh, so I noticed that a lot because even yesterday with yeah. the palm nuts, you removed the tomatoes yeah. and then you blend it out. What would you say is the most popular soup here in Ghana? Popular soup in Ghana. The most popular one. Yeah, I think um, like from the restaurant and other stuff, like the, the light soup that most people, you know, prefer eating with fufu and then the light soup. Yeah, like in abuno abuno something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Some people like it too. too. And then Ghana soup and then the Kamno soup too. People like it, especially right. when. Like eating bangkong, omutu, yeah, that, yeah. that kind of food. Alright, so I went inside to edit just now. Um, finally, I got finished with that particular video. But yo, from you here, the pounding. If you know about African food, you know exactly what it is that they're doing. So, um, yeah. Ima started this process, and Fufu is almost done. Man. It's, almost, it's done. It's done. So I came just in time. Hey, <laughs> Aquila. <laughs> okay. So now he's just portioning it off. Drops it into that big bowl. I thought he was the master chef. Me? Yeah. Oh, you. This. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ima rolls the fufu so easily, man. So easy, no cracks, just smooth. Mm. Look at that. Uh, my, it's like a. Man, there is cracks. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Bakaya, they say. You have to work for your food. So I'm working. <laughs> no food for lazy man. No food for lazy man. Ah, you hear that guys? He said no food for for a lazy man. Yeah. Why no regular broom? Yeah, you know this one. Stronger. You know, it's hard, you know, and then you see you've been walking around. Mm -hmm. So you know the cassava is like there's a little bit of starch inside, so it can stick on the floor. Mm -hmm. When you use the normal rubber broom, you see you can't remove this from the floor. So yeah. this one, this one is harder than easy to remove. Yeah, yeah. I realize it's very, it's very, it's very coarse. Yeah, you're right. Mm. There is a purpose for everything. If you come from a black family. I got this from a meme, so don't don't come at me. 
we come from a black family, at some point in time, you're gonna use um, like a piece of paper or some makeshift type of um, shovel. Remember back when I was a kid, I'd use like um, paper. But well, here they have just a uh, tin, a sheet of metal, and that's that. I throw it in here. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem, bro. Okay. Am I fired or am I hired? Okay. I'm hired. Yeah. I get the job. Yeah. Good. Ah. <laughs> just to give you guys a little close up on it. So, it's just the bristles from the palm tree. Very tough. If I try to bend this, take some effort for me to actually break it there and they just uh, twine it together with um they connect it together with this piece of cloth and if you look at the ends there it's very pointy very sharp and i guess that's what helps to um you know clean up the floor a lot better than a regular room Uh, hot. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hot. Very, very. Oh, yeah, you can smell the peanut. Yes. Me. <laughs> Alright, I'm interested to see what your peanut yeah. soup would taste like. Yeah. Come and do This is the first one I've had that I can take the peanut. No peanut inside. Yeah, I know that peanut. Peanut is sure. Yeah, yeah. This one is, is good. to have one. Wow. Uh, what's the meaning of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Jamaica it just means, yo, good job, bless up. No, by the way, it seems like he is the one who did the soup. I uh, supported him. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you want to give me all the thanks, my friend. You have to be careful. <laughs> So, but you the same thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't go to Kumasi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, if I go to Kumasi and do this, the problem. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, every day learn something different. So, from one person, they say pinch, next person, pinch like that. So, different. Okay. Yeah, you did good with the soup, man. You did very good. My friend. Uh, you too, my, you too. My, Absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the over robots. <laughs> this soup is the best peanut soup ever had. So they're gonna add some of the palm nut soup to it. Oh my gosh. Yo, let me tell you bro, you you did it man. I've tried from other restaurants. Well this is not a restaurant, this is your home restaurant. And it's really good. You know it is a ground nut soup. Together. This ground nut soup was so good that I never wanted them to mix it. I just wanted to have straight ground nut. 
But I'm gonna try the both of them together and see. Let's try it and see. Let's try it and see, man. There we go. Rolly, rolly, rolly. <laughs> Mm. It's good, but the ground nuts. Oh my gosh, that was good. You know what I'm saying? This is not cheating. This is not cheating. You are just trying to be, you know, efficient. Get your eyes can see. Not only your mouth. Not only your mouth. What again? The eyes and the mouth. What again? What else? <laughs> <laughs> And you're back. <laughs> this is the best oh, thing that you've made. Oh, the, oh, the, second baby, the, the best thing. Yeah. This is probably the most fufu I've ever had. One go. Go for it, man. Boy, it's a deal. He enters somebody's house because he's here, girls. Go do that, guy. Lela, yeah. oh, oh, you go commit, you go commit, right now. Okay, so, I brought some more fufu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They compare them. Six, six people, six cars, six cars men and six pack. Uh, so you flip the spoon, and that's like two two spoons of soup. Yep. Two, yep. Three, three. This one is three. Three. Yeah, you could be right, bro. Yes, Antoine. You should see how much fufu I ate. What? Today, Charlie, you eat more. You're proud of it, man. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you talk, your talk. So, yeah. me, I talk, my talk. Yeah, so, how will I understand your so talk? So, I'm going to understand your talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he can't understand when you speak uh, <laughs> Jamaican. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow when I talk to you. I'm going to slow down. Slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Okay. We thought this works. You know, slow. You have to slow down today, man. Who talk, your talk? Yeah, we can't treat with any other three. Now you guys. Guys, mom and pa, I am so, so, so stuffed. Yo, let me just put it out there really quick. That groundnut soup, aka peanut soup, that Ima made was by far the best. One thing I keep learning here is that I keep learning here. I learn one method today. I'm taught another. And um, even the way how to, you know, get the fufu, I've been practicing, I've gotten better with that as well. Today is the most fufu I've ever eaten. Now, when I was doing the charts in my head, I'm going to do a video where I'm going to do the top 10 foods, the foods that I love here and the foods that I don't quite so love here.